Are you ready to have a new home? We're building a pasture. There's something exciting going on out here. We are building a 304 by 62 foot Accusto building for cows. So it'll be a total confinement barn in this lovely area. This is the start of gates happening right now. It's gonna be a grand old time, but I'll take you along for the entire ride. We'll start a series with it, document most of the steps. It's gonna go up very, very, very quickly. Um, especially once they get like the actual building here, they're just doing gates right now and all that fun stuff. So let's go see what they've been up to. This is the start of all the gates inside the building. So yesterday, dark holes, but concrete in, it started all over the house. Whole bunch of them. So this is a whole pen where I'm standing. So there's another one, another one, another one, another one. All right, so. This line that you see is right where the I-beams are going to go. They're sitting over there. I-beams are gonna be set, bunks will sit on this side, and then this little area that I'm seeing right in front of will be a concrete slab that you'll drive on to feed. And then right on the inside of the I-beams is going to be the alleyway where the cows will eat. It'll be concrete. It's where we'll scrape every single day. They'll hang out, all that fun stuff. And then these are what is set for the gates. So everything, past these gates is going to be a bed pack um, besides up front we're going to have our working chute up here so that's where this whole area is and why there's some extra posts there bed pack on that side there'll be water shared for each two pens have a whole fun adventure but this will all be concrete that'll be on like sand slash gravel with a bed pack with daily bedding concrete bunks i think there's a whole bunch of individual six individual pens in here um, if that includes that one. So yeah, you can kind of see like this is a pen. You got gates in between. So there'll be like a solid gate here. Gates you can open and shut here. You'll see it when it all comes together. It'll be a fun adventure, but it goes all the way down to the corn. So they'll set I-beams where all of these lovely X's or plus signs, whatever you want to call them are building shade on this side open to the outside with a little bit of an overhang that we'll feed through so yeah it'll be a fun time we'll have j bunks so that way the calves don't push themselves out of the bunk in they'll be in the bunk but they won't be pushing like if we fed on the ground on concrete and pushed up feed you'd have calves out every day so i'm on the back half so i was standing over there and i walked through that when i walked through it this is where the chute and the working facilities will be so we can work everything under our roof for the new chute hydraulics i'm excited this is the edge of the building, more I-beams. So there'll kind of be a back little alleyway. And then we will also have some openings to creep calves outside and make weaning really, 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 really easy. So I'll walk you through how it's gonna work a little bit, building process, why we chose this, all of this in this one series. All right, so why, what, how, why are we building this barn? Like what started the conversation? Why did we choose AccuSteel? Um, all of the fun stuff. We're gonna start, we're gonna talk about that throughout this entire like series. I'm gonna document it, I'm gonna talk about it. I'm not only gonna show you the building being built, but I'm also going to show you the building throughout the fall when we put cows in it. And as we wean calves into it, cause we're gonna use it for that first um, and then calf next spring and throughout the entire process. So you'll see all of that. And I'll just add it to like a nice little playlist, playlist series thing so it's easy, but why this building? Um, so if you don't know, we live in Southwest Minnesota. So everything around this area, if you've never been here, you don't have an idea what it's like, it is crop country. Um, everything possible. If I could flip my camera around and you could see through a decent, I would, but farmhouse problems, <laughs> hence the house. Um, you might be able to see through it or the crop, but everything possible here is crop, like cropland. It's used for corn and soybeans. Um, sometimes they'll have like a little bit of wheat or oats, but usually it's just corn and soybeans. And anything that is not tillable will usually become pasture, but <laughs> our soil is very, we have like really good black rich soil um, and everything that literally is tillable is turned into cropland. So our pastures are small. They are waterways that flood, they are along the creeks, they're along the river and that's it. You're not just gonna have this big pasture that's like a full section. That's, it's not a thing here. So everything possible is cropland, everything else, if they can put, make it pasture or hay it, they will. So our smallest pasture that we have holds six pears in a bowl. 
and that's a stocking rate of like one to one and a half acres per pair. So <laughs> that, um, you think about it's a very small, small pasture. Um, and we only have them there actually for like two months and they're already dry this year. So, um, side note, we've been really dry. We just got like five inches of rain in like an hour and a half the other day. So that was fun. But our other pastures hold 20 to 25 pairs and then a bull, um, depending on the year. And that's just pasture land that lasts for the summer and that's it. Like it's end of May, early June through mid August or mid October. So is usually what we have pastures for. And then obviously the cows run like corn stalks. So we're running into this issue of trying to expand and add more cows. So my husband and I can join in with the family farm and we want more cows. We want to be in that, um, the market and grow and expand a little bit and produce more beef because it's, it's my favorite thing in the entire world. And we've been running into this dilemma of trying to find pasture. One, pasture is hard to find. Two, if you find it, it's really, 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 really expensive or a ways away. And we've had pastures that were quite a bit of ways. It's not fun when cattle get out, cattle get out, they get into cornfields. Like we are in the land of, we check our pastures every single day to make sure that our cattle are in and the fence is hot just because they're surrounded by cornfields. And I, we've had entire herds lost in cornfields before. So pasture finding is hard. If you do find it, it's really expensive or it's a ways away or somebody else outbids you or you, like you're paying so much, you're not even, it's not, you're not making any money. So we um, went to NCBA, my dad and I, for the, um, I, went to, I went down there with Performance Beef um, to be at their booth and hang out. And we started talking to some of these buildings and we were talking with the idea of maybe like expanding the feedlot, maybe doing some more cows. And we ran into a few of them, did some like conversations, ended up talking to AccuSteel, which we were really excited about. And then in March, we did tour a barn down in Nebraska. And in my head, I was like, how is, how is it going to work to have cows in like a, like a barn all year long? How is that? Like, I think of cows on pasture, right? So this is a very non-traditional way that we're going to be raising cows and calves um, and having pears in a barn, but we're really excited and it does work really well. So I'm going to walk you through that entire process, but essentially we couldn't find pasture. And if you do find pasture, you're not making any money and it's just this downhill slope. And we figured out we have dry lot cows already since we lost some pasture a couple years ago. Um, but stay at home all summer. So we know what it costs to feed them. We know that we can adjust some things and tweak it to make this work and work really well. So we're building a 304 by 62 foot AccuSteel building. It'll have um, like the plastic or not plastic, but the tarp covers. They're individual, individual sections. It's not like a hoop barn where it's like the entire length of it is one section. So if it rips to shreds, you have the entire thing to replace. It's sections um, with each steel frame piece. I'm gonna tell you now, I'm not great with terminology of this. So we're gonna learn together and I'm gonna, we're gonna talk about it that way. Um, but we're really excited. We saw it in person. We've done a lot of chatting, lots of thinking and now construction has started. So we are excited. I'm gonna walk you through the entire process. I will show you everything that I possibly can. Um, I guess construction is very fast. So right now they're just putting up the inner gates. So I will tell, I'll show you that in this video. Um, for like the inner gate system because there's individual pens in this barn so you're gonna have you know a group of cows in one pen another group in the other and then you'll you can combine them if you want to open gates all that fun stuff and we're also having a bud box built within the end of it on the east end so we can work cattle also work fat cattle feeder calves everything in here as well as the cows and get a new chute we're getting a hydraulic chute and i'm so excited <sighs> if you know you know and if you don't <laughs> it's gonna be a, a game changer for me we have an old tub chute and it's a self catch and a manual release. And it's, it just gets old when you have to, we implanted cow the other day and I was like, this is it's not fun. So it's gonna be adventure, but you'll feed on the outside of the barn. I'll show you all that in this video. It'll be concrete in the front portion where the cows stand and eat. And then the back half is gonna be a bed pack on top of like um, gravel and sand. So that'll be cleaned a couple of times a year. Just keep bedding, adding to it. It stays really dry. Ventilation is really great in this building. Um, you get a lot of, like the temperatures are cooler, but the air movement in there is still great. So it's great for cabbing. Um, the air movement obviously helps like livestock breathe and feel good <clears throat> and all of that fun stuff. So <sighs> I'm excited. We're going to walk through it. I think I'm kind of talking in circles now, but this is my channel. You're going to have a lot of just, it's real and raw. I'm not going to edit a whole bunch of my videos. So that's what you get here. But my phone is falling now. Imagine that. We're excited. It's going to be an adventure. <sighs> We're adding more cows to the herd. 
Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and come back for the next part. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments or send me a DM. We'll see you next time.